Hey guys, welcome to LZ's Project. My name is Salman Francis and this is part 2 of our VoIP server edition. So if you remember from our last video, we explored some of the features of Elastic Server. We uh, saw how we can install Elastic Server um, and use it. Uh, so today what we are going to do is we are going to explore some new, uh, some more features. Uh, so let's start. Uh, if you remember, we have this uh, server configured on our IP address of 192.168.1.200. So at the moment, we are in this server. And you can see here different tabs, system, agenda, email, fax, PBX, IM, uh, reports. And you can, like, for the system, these are the sub-tabs. Like, this is the dashboard of the system. Then the network users of the system and some system commands hardware detector update backup and restore so you can take a look at it by just uh, scrolling it down so this is the information about system if you click on network it will give you like information about your network you can see that the default gateway is 192.168.1.1 uh, host is wipe this is what we set up while installation primary DNS if you remember we set up for Google and if we click this tab so we should be able to edit our network parameters okay it's still working actually I'm on the uh, virtual machine so that's why it might take some time but anyway so, okay. Okay, if you click this, so here we, we can change it. The IP address, if you want, we can set up it for DHCP. Anyway, I'm just going to cancel. Okay. Uh, then we go to users, and here we can create user. Uh, for example, uh, you can click here to create a new user okay so I have just uh, installed this uh, Chrome uh, because it was giving some uh, issue with this uh, other browser conqueror so because I have not updated slack for that <clears throat> that is the reason anyway so now we are back to this uh, users tab and now if you click create so you can see you can just uh, create a user let me create one it pings and or I can just create my user Okay, password is simple. Okay. And here we can select the groups also. There are uh, predefined groups, administrator, operator, and extension. You can create uh, more groups from here. And anyway, I'm just going to put myself in administrator's group. My extension at the moment we have not defined any extension so that's why it's uh, I cannot assign one so anyway once I am good with my uh, credentials I'll just save the changes and you can see uh, I have successfully created one created one user okay groups when you create a create group you can create a group like Let's call them um, non-admin or super users. Okay, and these are super users, but not admin. Okay. So now, if I go to users, uh, let's click this, edit and from here I can just select super users 
Okay, so now let's go to this hardware detector. At the moment we are in this, uh, only this system tab and these are the sub menu you can say for system. Uh, click on detect hardware, it's detecting right now. Okay, so it has detected, there are no new cards or because it's a virtual machine anyway, you can detect if you have added some new hardware, you can um, detect that card here. Okay. Next is uh, updates. You can update your system from here. Um, you can see the repositories you can select and deselect them okay so it's very self-explanatory okay this is the most important backup and restore to perform a full backup you just click here and you can select your options uh, let's say full asterisks and its sound and everything uh, because the basic core is a asterisk actually and the uh, uh, free pbx is the web version of a asterisk you can say that but the main uh, thing like the main VoIP server is a asterisk in elastics okay so you can select only asterisk or you can select all options and then click on process okay once it will be completed, it will could not generate backup file, blah, blah, blah. And what is the reason? Okay. Some permissions are failed. Let me check the reason. Okay, let's take the backup again. Okay, but anyway, it will take your backup. I don't know what uh, what is the reason. If you go back, you will see that the backup is completed anyway. So I think it's a virtual machine error. You can see here the web backup is complete actually and okay so once this backup is complete and in case if you need to restore this backup uh, in some disaster or something you can just come to this backup and restore select this and then you can click on restore okay so that's how you take backup and restore elastics okay so let's move on Okay, I'm going to take you directly to this PBX. So here, let's say we need to create an extension. Okay, so this is all PBX uh, page, or you can say that this is here we are going to spend our 90% of time uh, while configuration. So in order to add an extension, first you need to make sure that you guys have idea what a SIP is, session initiation protocol, what IAX2 is, uh, Dhadi virtual extensions. Uh, well, uh, main thing is like we are going to create SIP, a SIP extension, and IAX is another protocol. So SIP is the protocol which we are going to use at the moment. So let's click on SIP submit okay user extension so user extension is going to be 100 and uh, display name I'm going to create let's say um, salmon okay. CID 
um, 100 okay outbound CID we are not going to use anything emergency ID no need for that um, DID description these are all advanced features so here's the secret you can use it like this automatic generated secret or you can just create your very own let's create it pings one two three this is the password this week let's call it it pings nat is something you need when you are behind um let's say you are behind a nat so you can say here net yes uh, and for example, let's say you are behind some server which is a gateway and all of your uh, users who are behind the server are using this NAT to get out of the, like to use internet. So you have to select this NAT. If you are directly connected with the internet, you can select no. Okay, then you can scroll down. Um, if you want, you can write here your email address okay so okay voicemail enable voicemail password one two three four email address you can mention okay so that's it at the moment we are going to submit it at least two numbers okay So the secret is one two three. Let's say it pings one two three. Okay. Apply. So this is how we have successfully created our first extension, and you can see here this extension is created. Okay, and now if we go to system users. And edit this user from here I can select my extension also and then apply changes okay so this is how we uh, create extension and in our next video we are going to set up this extension on our computers or our, or on our phone so thank you for watching and hope to see you in our next video please do subscribe to our youtube channel goodbye